Hi guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I have my MacBook here and we are going to be doing a customization video. I know a lot of you liked my iOS 14 customization video that I did on my iPhone. And as a lot of you guys probably know, Apple just came out with an update for the MacBook and it is called Mac OS Big Sur. Now I updated my MacBook today and I spent all day trying to figure out how to customize it. And a fun fact is that widgets are actually now allowed on the MacBook, which is really cool. I know that they always were allowed on the MacBook, but now it's kind of more customizable and could be customized to your liking. So with all that being said, before we get into this video, I do want to say that this video is inspired by Julia K. Christ. I will have her channel linked down below, so definitely be sure to go check out her original MacBook video because I feel like all the MacBook videos kind of stirred off of hers. So I do want to give credit where credit is due. But with all that being said, let's get into the video. I have some cool tips for you guys and I hope you enjoy. If you like it, be sure to subscribe give the video a huge thumbs up and comment something down below because when you do that it really does help my channel grow with all that being said let's get into it so I have my notebook here of everything that I wrote down because I was trying to come up with very original ideas as I like to do so the number one thing that I should do is screen record so you guys know what I'm doing also for everyone who does not know how to screen record on a MacBook all you do is hit command shift 5 and then record and it'll record for you just a little fun fact so the first thing I want to talk about is widgets now when I I first saw the new customizations everything looked kind of different which was really cool so what you do for widgets is you actually just click at the top over here it's gonna say Tuesday November 17th for example you would click it that makes the widgets appear and disappear so when I click it I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and I'm going to hit edit widget now when you hit edit widget this whole screen kind of pops up you can customize it to your liking just like the iOS 14 video that I did which if any of you are wondering I will have that linked down below basically what I did is I have my screen time at the top here I just like being able to see how much time I actually spend on my screen then over here I have my calendar so for my calendar it just says post customization video because I've been planning this video out for a little while now so I just wanted to remind myself to post it today and then I have my location now I do live in New Jersey but for the purpose of this video I put it to New York just because I don't want to give away my exact location so that's why it says that then I have this cool clock feature here. I just thought being able to see all the different time zones were really cool, so I wanted to include that in here as well. And then down here I have my today reminders. So today I had to call my doctor, I had to do an in-body scan at work, and then I had to give one of my friends something that I owed her. Then next to it, I just have my Christmas wish list that I just like to take notes on on my phone. So I just have that here as well so I can simply add links to it as I find things that I would like to ask for for Christmas. Now, how do you actually add them? So what you do is, let's say you wanted to add a photo. What you would do is you would hit photo over here. And then as you guys can see at the bottom, it gives you the same option as like widget smith, for example. So it's the small widget, the medium widget, and the large widget. All you're gonna do is click the one that you want. So for example, I'll do small, and then you're gonna hit this green little add button and it's going to pop up on the bottom. Let's say you don't want it there anymore. All you are going to do is hit this minus button and it's going to go away. So there's a lot of different ones that you can choose from. There's the clock, the calendar, the notes, and you can just add it there and kind of customize it, which I thought was pretty cool. So obviously you would do this to your liking. So to get out of it, all you're going to do is hit the top corner up here. Then it's going to appear on your home screen. If you want that to go away, again, you would just click up here and it's gone. So that's something really cool as well. The next thing I thought was amazing was that you can actually change your Google background. So when you go onto Google Chrome or Safari, what you're going to do is you're going to hit customize. Now this is how I got this pink bar up here. If you guys can see it, instead of it being white, I thought that was really cool. So what you're gonna do is you are going to hit right here, customize. And you can either do this by adding a color and a theme, a shortcut, or a background. So it gives you many different options that you can add. For example, if you wanted this art on the background of your Google display, what you would do is you would just click one. So for example, we'll do this one and you would hit done and that's what Google would look like. If you didn't want it to be like that, all you would have to do is hit no background and it would go back to Google. Now, another thing you can do is you can also just change the color and theme. So for example, I clicked this one and that is what changes this little bar up here and you can also customize that 
that. So what you would do is just hit customize this page and then you would just click the color that you want and then you click the color that you want and then you are going to hit done and it'll customize the whole entire thing. And for the one I wanted, I wanted it to be very simple. So I just clicked this one right here and then I hit done and then it just turned this little bar up here pink, which I personally really like. Now you can also do this for Safari. It's in a similar way. You just click Safari, you hit this little thing down here, and you're gonna hit background, and then you're gonna click down here, and these are all the different options that you can choose from. I kinda like the butterfly, but for the purpose of this video, I don't use Safari, I use Google, so I just wanted to show you guys in case you did not use Google and you liked Safari. So the next thing that is really cool is that there is now a control center on the MacBook. I know, I feel like it's something we've all been waiting for. So what you are going to do if you wanna add controls is you're gonna go to this little button right here and this is your control center. So now on the MacBook, you can turn on do not disturb and you can choose for how long. So it could be always on, it could be until tomorrow, it could be until the evening or for an hour. So let's turn it on for an hour. What it does is it puts this little moon up here showing you that your computer is on do not disturb. To turn it off, you just click it and it goes off. Now, the next thing that's really cool is you can change the brightness of your keyboard. So for example, the lightness of my keyboard is up to this. I can make it really light, which brightens the keyboard or I can make it really dark which dims the keyboard which I really like especially for nighttime so that's something that's amazing as well the next thing they have is screen mirroring I'm not really sure about that one I don't know if it's always been there but that's just another thing that's on here as well then there is a display brightness so you can make it brighter or you can make it darker there is a sound so you can make things louder or less loud and then of course a lot of you are probably wondering how I got the battery to say the 100% we will get there in a second because it's actually so simple. So this is what the control center looks like. Now, if you're looking at your menu bar and you don't want, let's say, the Wi-Fi to be there, all you're going to do is drag the Wi-Fi here and it goes away. So let's say you don't want the battery percentage to be there. All you're going to do is you're going to drag this and it's going to go away. Now, if you want the Wi-Fi symbol and the battery and the percentage to pop back up, what you're going to do is you're going to hit settings and you're gonna go into dock and menu bar. Now the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Wi-Fi and you're gonna hit show in menu bar. Now it'll pop back up right here in the menu bar. Then you're gonna go down and you're going to click battery. You're going to make sure that show percentage is selected. So if it's not selected, you just wouldn't see the battery. If it was, you would see the percentage of the battery and you are going to hit show in menu bar and then it pops right up here with the battery. Now this is really useful, especially for me because I never know what percentage my battery is actually at and now I do. So that's just something I really liked as well that I wanted to include. And then there are a lot of things that you can add to your control center. So what you would do, for example, is if you wanted accessibility shortcuts, you would click this and you would just hit show in control center. So then when you go over to your control center, it shows it right here, which is something that's really cool. And if you didn't want it there, all you would do is hit show in control center again uncheck it and then it would not show there so there's a lot of things that you can play around with in settings in the dock and menu section and I thought that was really cool as well now the next thing I wanted to show you guys was the messages now messages are something that's really cool as well I don't really use messages a lot but something that's cool is that you can pin messages now so what you would do for example is drag one up and you would pin at the top which is so cool just in case you want to have a conversation with someone really quick if i'm on let's say ashley all i have to do is click my mom's and it'll pop up without me having to scroll down so that's something really cool as well and if you don't want it there you just drag it back and it goes down so that's all for messages i do know that there's new like little emojis that you can send and everything like that i know that there is other characters but I'm not positive about how to get those so we're not going to talk about that in this video. The next thing I want to talk about is the new FN function. So if I click FN on my keyboard there is a little emoji guy that appears. I can click that and then on the touch bar the emojis actually show up. I will have a video of me showing you guys that over this video just so you guys can understand because I can't really show you without changing the camera but that's something really cool as well. Now the next thing that is super cool is that the dock looks so different so for example the launch pad is kind of like a folder now and you click it and then everything comes up which is really cool 
And then the other cool thing is that the apps are rounded and they have more of a brighter color to them, which actually stood out a lot and I really liked. The next thing that I wanted to point out is now you can actually hide your dock. So what you do is you right click and you click command, hit turn on hiding. So then what it does is it hides the dock and your screen is very clear and very minimal, if that makes sense. And if you want it to come back, you just put your mouse down here, you do the same exact thing and you're going to click turn off hiding and then the dock will stay there as it usually does. But with all that being said, that's about it for this video. I am going to show you guys the key brightness and the emoji function really quick. But I wanted to say, again, credit to Julia K. Chris for inspiring me to do this video. This was definitely her original idea for the first one that she made, and I just want to give her credit for that. With all that being said, if you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I've never been You do things that make me a better